Pacifica Pier tonight where there is growing concern over waste in the water. A lot more trash, including PPE, is ending up in our oceans. As KPIX 5's Kenny Choi reports from Ocean Beach, it takes cleanup efforts and a lot more to address this problem made worse by the pandemic. Using pickers like this, there's a place nearby that hands them out. People are doing what they can so that trash doesn't end up in the ocean. It's a small step in addressing what's becoming an even bigger problem, unfortunately, because of COVID. It's being entangled in, in our coastal environment. It's the price being paid in our waters and on our shores. Millions of tons of plastic trash generated during the fight against COVID. This father leads his girls picking out tiny pieces of plastic to show them everyone has to pitch in. There's a bunch of independent pickers around here too um, that just go out there because they always see it as well. Soon after opening up Ocean Beach Cafe during the pandemic, Josh James teamed up with nonprofits Together SF and Refuse Refuse San Francisco, collecting boxes of pickers and organizing beach cleanup dates. It comes back. It comes back quick. A new study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences reveals the worldwide battle against COVID generated 8.4 million tons of plastic trash. From that, 57 million pounds ended up in our oceans. Eventually, it will become small and, and unfortunately could be consumed by marine life as well. Experts say 2 billion single use masks are being used each day. Another part of the Keep Ocean Beach Clean campaign that we're doing is like trying to change the psyche of people that just may throw their trash. It's one small piece at a time, but big steps in cleaning up our COVID world. At Ocean Beach, Kenny Choi, KPIX 5. Researchers at the National Academy of Sciences predict most of the plastic waste from the pandemic, more than 70%, will end up in beaches by the end of the century.